Weather from where you live. All those current wind chills now dropping to 13 below zero at Logansport. We're down to 11 below at Monticello and Rensselaer, and we're around 9, 10 below zero in Greater Lafayette, with a few flurries and a couple light snow showers around, mainly in the north and then also in the south. I think as we get into the overnight hours, uh, we're probably going to see a few more snow showers develop. There's a little disturbance here in Missouri. Well, that will ride the Arctic front. The Arctic front, the second Arctic front, is about right here. It's coming through the area now. This little wave will kind of ride up the front, may enhance some scattered snow shower action. So we'll probably have some of these getting into the overnight. Then they'll be out of here by early tomorrow morning, and skies will clear. And with that, with clearing skies and still gusty winds, wind chills tanking. By 3:30 in the morning, they are 20 to 30 below zero. By uh, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, they're 30 to 40 below zero, and they'll likely tank between 35 and 50 below zero. I would say around 7:30, 8 to about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. 40 below zero uh, down towards Vetersburg, up to near Attica, around Lafayette, and then as low as 50 below in the northwestern counties. Here we are at 1 p.m. Finally, by 5:30, and then getting into tomorrow night, still dangerously cold, and even early Thursday morning. Around 20 below in the south, around 30 below at Lafayette, and around 40 below zero wind chills in the north. But wind chills improving with time Thursday afternoon. And by Thursday at 2 30, 2 below zero Crawfordsville to around 17 below zero in the north. And then by Thursday night, check that out a relatively, I hate to use the word balmy, but it will feel, I guess, a little better. Wind chills near zero to 10 below. By 9 o'clock. Now, tonight, a few places are going to get a dusting or a coating of snow. There may be an isolated location or two that gets an inch of fluffy accumulation, but the wind's going to blow a lot of that around. There are the temperatures tomorrow, a high of only 11 below zero, with a few flurries around with sunshine and some clouds. Then on Thursday, sunshine early, but then increasing clouds will be at three degrees late in the day. And notice the wind chills gradually improving as it warms a little and the wind diminishes. So there are a few of your snow showers around overnight. Here we are at 3, 3 30 in the morning. They jet out of here, then some clearing, sunshine, some cloudiness tomorrow, and a few snow flurries. And then after a lot of sun early Thursday, increasing clouds and snow comes in Thursday night. There's 7 30. There's 11 o'clock. Accumulating snow is likely. Then it gets out of here by early Friday morning. And right now, it looks like a good one to three inches is expected area wide Thursday night. There will be band of three to six. It's just where will that band set up? Is it over the area? Is it just north of us? That is the big question. We're going for one to three right now. With this active weather, Chad's blog, WLFI.com. I've got some wind chill history on the blog right now. When is the last time the wind chill was 40 below, 45 below, 50 below? It's all on there right now. Normal highs 35. We will not get even close to normal until Saturday with 32. Then it's a flash thaw. Check that out. 55 midday Monday, then falling. But then we go back into the cold weather after that rain and ice jams around. 31 Tuesday, but then falling during the day with a few snow flurries. So, well, you talk about the pavement expanding and contracting. Yeah. A lot of potholes ahead. Unfathomable. Yeah. Chad Wells out shooting my story today. One of the Purdue students was wearing shorts. <laughs> and I informed him, you shouldn't be doing that now, yeah. and you definitely shouldn't be doing that uh, tomorrow. That's dangerous tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, I call him out tonight at 6. Thanks, yeah. Chad.